Hello, this is Hannah. Let's read The Desire of Ages about Jesus Christ, the chosen people, second one, for, yeah, for uh, more than a thousand years, more than a thousand years, the Jewish, the Jewish, Jewish people had awaited the Savior's Coming upon this event, they had tested, our, they had rested their brightest hopes in in song and prophecy, in temple rite and household prayer. They had ensured his name, and yet at, at his coming, they knew him not. The, Beloved of heaven was to them as a root out of a dry ground. He had no form, uh, no, uh, no form nor com comeliness, and they saw in him no beauty that they should desire him. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Isaiah chapter 53 to John chapter 1, 11. So I didn't wear my glass, but uh, I'll try now to wear my glass. So it's more clear because I'm uh, the 60 year old more. So I need my glass like, like this. So you need also, if you read the Bible, you can, uh, you, if you know more about Jesus' story, you can uh, clearly understand the, the reading Bible. So that's why I'm using my glasses like this story. It will be like glass. Yet God had chosen Israel. He had called them. I will try to read again. For more than a thousand years, the Jewish people had awaited the Savior's coming upon this event. They had rested the, their brightest hopes in song and prophecy, in temple rite, in temple rite and household prayer. They had enshrined His name, and yet, and His coming, they knew Him not. The beloved of heaven was to them as a root out of a dry ground. He said no form nor comeliness, and they saw in him uh, no beauty that they should desire him. He came unto his own, and his own revealed him not. Isaiah chapter uh, 53, verse 2, John chapter 1, 11. Yet, God had chosen Israel. Uh, he had called them to preserve among men the knowledge of his law and of the symbols and prophecies that pointed to the Savior. He desired them to be as wells of salvation to the world, what Abraham was in the land of his surgeon. What Joseph was in Egypt and Daniel in the course of Babylon, the Hebrew people were to be among the nations. They were to reveal God to men. In the core of Abraham, the Lord had said, I will bless thee, and thou shalt be a blessing. And in this, in this share or families of the earth be blessed. Genesis chapter 12, 2 and 3. The same teaching was repeated through the prophets even after Israel had been wasted by war and kept Captivity, the promise was theirs. The remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of uh, many people as a as a dew from the Lord, as the showers upon the grass, that tarries not for men, nor waiteth for the sons of men. Micah chapter 5, 7. Uh, concerning the temple at Jerusalem, 
the Lord declared through Isaiah, mine house, mine house shall be called an house of prayer for all, all peoples, Isaiah chapter 56, verse 7. But the Israelites fixed their hopes upon worldly greatness from the time of their entrances to the land of Canaan. They departed from the commandments of God and followed the ways of the heathen. In, it was in vain that God sent them warning by his chastisement, uh, his prophets. Uh, in vain they suffered the chastisement of hidden oppression. Every reformation was followed by deeper apostasy. Had Israel been true to God, he could have accomplished his purpose through their honor and exaltation. If they had walked in the ways of obedience, he would so it's not convenient. Uh, he would have made them high above all nations which he uh, which he hath made in praise in praise and in name and in honor. All people, people of the earth, said Moses shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. The nations which shall hear all these statutes shall say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Deuteronomy chapter 26, 19, 28, 10, 4, chapter 4, 6. But because of their unfaithfulness, God's purpose could be wrought out only through continued adversity and humiliation. They were brought into subjection to Babylon and scattered through the lands of the hidden. In affliction, many renewed their faithfulness to his covenant while they hung their halves upon the willows and mourned for the holy temple that was laid waste the light of truth shone out through them and a knowledge of God was spread among the nations. The hidden system hidden systems of sacrifice were a perversion of uh, perversion of the system that God had appointed and many are sincere observer of hidden um, hidden rice learned from the Hebrews the meaning of the service divinely divinely ordained and in faith grasped the promise of a redeemer. Many of the exiles many of the ex exiles suffered persecution. Not a few lost their lives be because, because of their refusal to disregard the Sabbath and to observe the hidden f uh, festivals as idol idol idolaters, idolaters were roused to crush out the truth the Lord brought his servants face to face with kings and rulers that they and their people might receive the light. Time after time the greatest monarch, monarchs, monarchies were led to proclaim the soup supremacy of God whom their Hebrew captives worshipped. By the Babylon, Babylonish captivity, the Israelites were effectually cure, cured of the worship of graven images. During the centuries that followed, they suffered from the, from the oppress, oppression of hidden Force, until the conviction became fixed that their prosperity depended upon their obedience to the law of God. But with too many of the people, obedience was not prompted by love. The motive was selfish. 
they rendered outward service to God as the means of attaining to national greatness. They did not become the light of the world, but shut themselves away from the world in order to escape temptation to idol idolatry, idolatry, idolatry. Either three, in the in the instruction given uh, through Moses, God had placed the restrictions upon their association with either idol, idolaters, idolaters. But this teaching, uh, sorry, they had been misinterpreted. I know misinterpreted. It was intended to. Uh, prevented them from conforming to the practice of the hidden, but it was used to build up a war of separation between Israel and all other nations. The Jews looked upon Jerusalem as their uh, heaven, and they were actually jealous lest the Lord should sh show mercy to the Gentiles. After the return from Babylon, much attention was given to religious instruction. All over the country, synagogues were erected where the law was expounded by the priests, uh, expounded by the priests and scribes. And schools were established, which, together with the arts and the sciences, professed to teach the principles of righteousness. But these agencies became corrupted during the captivity. Many of the people had received hidden ideas and customs, and these were brought into their religious service. In many things, they conformed to the practice of idol idolaters, idolater, idolaters. As they departed from God, the Jews, in the great degree, degree lost sight of the teaching of the richer, richer service. That service had been instituted by Christ himself in every part. It was a symbol of him, and it had been full of vitality and spiritual beauty. But the Jews lost the spiritual life from there. Or, uh, from, um, sorry, I forgot the writing here. But the Jews lost the spiritual life from their ceremonies and clung to the dead forms. I will read more before. Sorry. In, ev in every part, it was a symbol of him, and it had been full of vit uh, vitality and spiritual beauty. But the Jews lost the spiritual life from their ceremonies and clung to the dead forms. They trusted to the sacrifice and or ordinances themselves instead of resting upon him to whom they pointed in order to supply the place of that which they had lost, the priests and rabbis, rabbis, rabbis multiplied the requirements of their own, and the more rigid they grew, the less of the love of God was manifested. They measured their holiness by the by the less of by the multitude of their ceremonies, while their hearts were filled with pride and hypocrisy. With all their minute, minute and burdensome injunctions, it was an impossibility to keep the law. Those who desired to serve God and who tried to observe the rabbi, rabbinic, rabbi, rabbinic, rabbinic precepts toiled under a heavy burden. They could find no rest from the accusing of a troubled conscience. Thus Satan worked to discourage the people to lower, lower their conception of the character of God and to bring the faith of Israel into con contempt. He hoped to establish the claim put forth when, 
when he rebelled in heaven that the uh, requirements of God were unjust and could not be obeyed. Even Israel, he declared, did not keep the law, while the Jews desired the, the advent of the Messiah. They had no true conception of his mission. They did not seek redemption from sin, but deliverance from the Romans. But they looked for the Messiah to come as a conqueror, to break the, the oppressor's power and exalt Israel to universal dominion. Thus the way was prepared for them to reject the Savior. At the time of the birth of Christ, the nation was chafing under the rule of her foreign masters and uh, wrecked with eternal strife. The Jews had been permitted to maintain the form of a separate government, but nothing could disguise the fact that they were under the Roman yoke or re reconcile them to the restriction of their power. The Romans claimed the right of appointing, the removing the high priest, and the office was often secured by fraud, uh, bribery, and even murder. Thus, the priesthood became more and more corrupt, yet the priests still possessed great power, and they employed it for selfish and more, um, uh, more scenery ends. The people were subjected to their merciless demands and were also heavily taxed by the Romans. This state of affairs caused widespread discontent. Popular outbreaks were frequent greed and violence, distrust uh, uh, and spiritual uh, uh, apathy. apathy were eating out the very heart of the Hatred nation. Of the Romans and national and spiritual pride led the Jews still to ad adhere rigorously to their forms of worship. The priests tried to maintain a reputation for sanctity by scru uh, scrupulous attention to the ceremonial ceremonies of religion. The people in their darkness and oppression and the rulers uh, thirsting for power longed for the coming of one who would then vanquish their enemies and restore the kingdom, of, kingdom to Israel. They had studied the prophecies, but without spiritual insight, thus they overlooked those scriptures that point to the, to the humiliation of Christ's first advent and misapplied those that speak of the glory of his second coming. Pride obscured their vision. They interpreted the prophecies prophesy in accordance with their selfish desires. So thank you for reading and then listening together. So let's go to the uh, third one, uh, the foolish of the time. See you then, guys. Bye.